I'm a little bit mad because I washed my hair for the first time since I got it done. And it's been like eight days. And it already faded. And I don't know what happened because last time... I mean, I do the same thing each time I dye my hair a crazy color and it's never faded this fast except for when it was purple. But I'm kind of mad about it. Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing a few different logic related things, not just the G Fuel shaker cups um, and like little like taste test thing. I've had these shaker cups for a few weeks now and I just haven't unboxed them because I wanted to film a video on them. And I'm happy that I waited because Brandon just ordered a bunch of G Fuel, so we're going to have like a little G Fuel haul. But the first matter of business, if you guys missed out on my Twitter, I posted that I got the two Logic Records to give away and this one had a little bit too much fun in delivery or whatever. It actually came punctured, like it went through the packaging and it was punctured and that little black space there on the record, there's no grooves. Like it literally took the grooves off. It's the start of the song Man I Is and you like can't even play it because the groove's gone. So I filmed an unboxing just to have like evidence to reach out to UMG and say like yo this happened like what the fuck. And it's not even that I'm like necessarily mad about it because I already own this album for my personal self, but I bought these purely to give away to other people and I'm not going to give this away in the condition that it's in. So I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell, but that's the damage there. I can't even like get the dust off. And so I don't even think you could listen to the other track perfect. I don't know what happened. I guess I could touch this vinyl because I'm never going to play it or do anything with it. Oh, I feel so wrong to do. I hate that. So I want to do a DIY with this. I don't know if I want to do one of the like painting things like where people paint records, but let me know what you think I should do with this. Maybe I could try to actually paint the album cover or something. That might be a little too much for me, Olivia. Calm down. But let me know what you guys think I should do with this. Give me some DIY recommendations and we'll use this in a future video. I think this is my last package from the merch shop and it's some posters um, that I bought to give away as well. I'm gonna keep one of them but I bought I think two of them so one of them is to give away. Oh my god! What? There's a CD and a record in here too! I actually got a bunch of CDs in the mail the other day. So what we're going to do is do a little CD giveaway in this video since another one decided to show up. So if you guys didn't get the No Pressure CD, here's one right here, factory sealed. There's no scratches or breakage or anything on the case and the disc is not loose. So if you guys want to win this, all you got to do is give this video a thumbs up. Obviously, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you include no pressure in your comments. So when I use the random comment picker, I'm going to set the like rules and like limitations to be no pressure so that way your comment has to have that to be entered. You could even just comment no pressure. Um, and then also be sure to include your Instagram or your Twitter handle in your comments so that way I can go ahead and reach out to you. That's all you gotta do and somebody's gonna win this and I will ship it out to you. So some people got these signed. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe these will be signed. Probably not. I don't know why they would be. But now I have another poster too, which I'm excited about, so we're going to see. Is it signed? <gasps> it is signed. What the fuck? Why? Okay, so we got one of those and another one. I didn't expect that to happen. 
because everybody was posting about these and some people got them signed, some people didn't. Like, people that got them, um, months ago, theirs isn't signed, but the people that are just getting them now, they're signed. So I wonder if he decided to sign them as, like, an apology for these taking so long? I don't know. I wonder why they decided to do that, but this will also be in a future giveaway. Get into the unboxing of the shaker cups. Let's just move right along. Let me know if you guys got the signed Twitch poster or not. I'm curious. Huzzah! So I did order two of these. Um, one, the limit was two. If it was greater than two, I would have gotten three and done a giveaway. But since it was only two, I was only able to get two. I got two so that way I can use one because I don't have a shaker cup. And then I got one to just have and not use. So this is what it looks like. This is like the original shaker cup. If you guys didn't know, Logic did release some shaker cups. I don't remember when, but it is the same exact design, except the original ones are a opaque blue, so they're not um, see-through, they're not transparent. And there was only 301 of those put out, and they go for a pretty penny now. Um, I don't know if those have increased or decreased in value since these came out, but these were also limited, so I don't even know if these are still on the shop or not, and I don't know what the limited quantity number was. There was a coupon code as well. I did get uh, $6 off, so these only ended up being uh, $7 a piece instead of 10 Super excited to finally have a shaker cup. I really wanted the Dalmatian, like the mascot, or like the founder's dog, he owns a Dalmatian, they made a shaker cup for it. And I was gonna order that one too while I was ordering these, but I guess like all the shaker cups are like kinda limited, so that one is no longer available, so I was super sad about that. You get a white lid with the red, oh god. The red top. And then inside you have this, which is red as well. That's all there is to it. So it has the regular Logic script that's on a lot of his merch. And then on this side it does say G Fuel uh, Energy Formula. So that's pretty cool. And we got a sticker. Is this a sticker? I think this is a sticker. So you know what? I'm gonna put this with the CD. This is what Brandon ordered. So we're gonna do a little G Fuel haul. Let's see what flavors he got here. This one is the G Fuel Energy Formula. This is Sour Nightmare Fuel, inspired by Faze Rug. I really love the artwork on here. This one is inspired by the Faze Clan in general, and it is Sour Faze Berry. So this one's probably just like a mixed berry. It looks like there's strawberries, pomegranate, blueberry, and that's all I can see on here. And this one is PewDiePie, just called PewDiePie. And it looks like it's got some cherries on it, and I don't know what that is. They look like red blueberries, so maybe like a raspberry type of flavor. I love how it's got his signature pattern on it. I think it looks really cool. This one I would be really intrigued to try. I don't know about the sour ones. I do like sour stuff, but like sour drinks kind of like freak me out. Tropical Rain, so this one isn't a collaboration with anyone. So we've got um, orange, pineapple, raspberry, blueberry, and kiwi. This one's more of like a tropical mix. This one might be good. This one is hydration, a little bit different. This one's only got 30 servings in it and it's a little bit smaller. I'm not sure about this, but this one's flavor is blue rocket pop, which sounds really good because I used to eat rocket pops all the time. So I'm not sure exactly what the difference is with this one, but it's cool looking. And then the one that we're actually going to be trying today, they gave us a free sample. And this is the Roman Atwood flavor Bahama Mama. And I'm not really much of like a tropical flavor, I guess, person, but I'm going to try this one. I do really like Roman. 
um, and I know he's talked about this a lot on his channel and stuff and like the collaboration and how they still put out the collab without him having to do anything and G Fuel just seems like a really good company in general and I know that they work with a lot of creators but Roman's story like really sold me that they're like a good company in general. I just feel like it's really sentimental to me because of Roman's story again and everything that he's been through and he's one of my favorite creators so I'm super excited to support and try this even though we didn't pay for it but if I do like it I'll probably end up buying one of these. We filled up our cup with some water and I did clean it. I think there's a bunch of water all over the cup. I just clean everything now, even more so with everything going on. So I did wash the cup and then I added some of our filtered water. And now I guess I'm gonna add the flavoring. But all that powder just came out. Ooh, it smells really pineapple-y. Is this cringy to like pour it into here? I don't know. I don't want it to spill on my carpet, so. I guess we close it. Oh no, that's just the water on the outside. I hope this is all you have to do. Add one scoop to 12 to 16 ounces of cold water. Shake or stir well before using, okay. And this is, I don't know, it says 500. Oh, they're in mLs. Well, that doesn't really help me. Mmm, it smells really, really good. I don't want to tilt it, but you can see in there, maybe? So I guess we'll give it a try. I, another reason why I was waiting to film this is because I know this is like an energy thing, and I was like, I really don't want to do this at 2 a.m. when I usually film. Mm. Oh, there's a little bit of coconut in it. Oh yeah, there's a coconut on there. I can definitely taste the coconut. An orange. I'm really surprised I don't taste the pineapple. I think it's pretty good. I mean it tastes like kind of what I expected it to taste like and I definitely think that this is a way healthier alternative than like energy drinks. It does kind of leave a little bit of like a coating in your throat but not like bad. That's one thing I don't like about like powder flavoring because you always get that like powdered consistency in your throat and I'm gonna definitely try these other flavors and see which one I like I hope that logic eventually makes his own flavor down the road maybe like a sergeant smash kind of flavor or something so that is my unboxing and first time tasting G Fuel honestly I understand the hype. This would be a really good alternative to energy drinks. I think it's definitely a lot healthier for you. So I would definitely see myself doing this versus going and buying like a monster. I can't wait for his other shaker cups to come out as well. If you guys want me to get those and do videos on them, let me know. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.